we don't know where a discovery today is going to have its impact, but that's why we had to keep doing it, right? There's multiple steps between a discovery and the impact it may have on human health, the economy, or whatever it may be. And I think what the American system allows us to do is to say, well, let's now let a thousand flowers bloom, right? Um, it's not a top-down sort of process. And so you end up with hundreds of labs submitting proposals, very competitive, and only the best ones get selected. But over the last 10 years, the tools that we have to monitor neural activity is unprecedented. Developing these huge data sets in learning, memory, Alzheimer's disease, addiction. We have a project where we're trying to develop a technology platform to track lucid intervals in the homes of, of dementia patients. I was working with a large group of people across the country to set up the first NIH big grant that would be about this concept of lucidity. Because pharma companies, biotech, they may be interested eventually in something like that, but they don't necessarily have the ability to kind of explore many, many, many ideas. And so that's foundational work that needs to happen um, in university labs and could be in partnership with others. That's, to me, an example of where NIH funding is crucial. We have this ability to figure things out about the world around us, right? That's just something that makes us human. So let's capitalize on that. And we have all these ancillary benefits.